<laughs> Good, how are you? Good. What were you up to? I was just going and eating breakfast at my friend's apartment up there. Um, are you ready for 73 questions about RIT? Always. Question two, who are you? My name is Kel. And where are you originally from? I'm from Ocean Grove, New Jersey. Where are we right now? So we're in Global Village. What do students come to this part of campus for? Usually there's uh, food. There's also a hair salon, a bank, and a post office. Wow, it really is a village. So with so much here, what's it like on the weekends? Usually it's a little bit quieter, but some people still like to hang out at these picnic tables. Awesome. Um, are students still active during the winter? Yeah, surprisingly, they actually have that fireplace on in the winter, and they have these awesome lights that make it really pretty. Great. What's the best food option on campus? Honestly, I think it's salsaritas because of the burritos, tacos, and nachos. Mm, is anything open late? Yeah, actually we have a few dining options on residence hall side and also a coffee shop called Midnight Oil. How about vegan, gluten-free options, lactose-free options for those who need it? Oh yeah, there's so many, including in the dining hall, there's a Allergen 8 uh, dining location where they have no allergens in it. Why did you choose your major? I love helping people and I also like medical devices. So I thought, why not? And also I took a BuzzFeed quiz and it told me to. <laughs> nice. Have you ever changed your major? I have not, but I know a lot of friends have and they say it's not really that hard. Awesome. So have you declared a minor? I have. I declared a minor in public relations and advertising. How easy is it to complete a minor? Oh, it's so easy. There's actually one built into your schedule in our program called an immersion. Are there any general education courses required? There are two wellness courses that you have to complete, uh, but if you're a varsity athlete, you don't have to do them. How many classes did you take at one time your first year? Oh, I took seven, but that also includes a wellness course and a lab, so it was more like five. What was your earliest class you took? 8 a.m. It was not fun. What about the latest? Uh, it ended at around 6.50 p.m., so not too late. What was your largest class size? Uh, my largest class size was general and analytical chemistry. It had 90 students, but throughout the week, we actually split up into smaller groups of 20 students. That's awesome. What was your smallest? It was my biocompatibility and immunology class. That had around 20 students in it, but uh, it was really fun. What's the most unusual class you've taken? Honestly, I think it's my beverage fermentation and distillation class. What about the most interesting? Honestly, <laughs> Uh, probably the immunology and toxicology class. Awesome. How many hours a day do you spend on homework? Usually it's between three and five, not too long. Do GAs teach classes? No, it's actually only the professors, but they do. The GAs and TAs have office hours. So we're here at the famous Tiger Statue. Yeah. What's your favorite RIT tradition? It has to be the homecoming game. It's so much fun and everyone's so rowdy. Awesome. Is RIT Mac or PC? It depends on what your program is. I think a lot of the tech majors do PC, but a lot of the art majors love math. What are the professors like? They're super nice. They're always willing to help out and they're pretty funny. They have good jokes. Can you ask them for extra help? Oh, definitely. And if you can't meet their office hours, you can actually schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment with them if you'd like. Nice, so are they pretty approachable? Oh, definitely. Like I said, I mean, I like to go in, talk to them, see how their day is going, ask them a question, and then crack a joke. Are classes mostly lectures, projects, or group work? I'd say a majority of them are group work because RIT really likes the collaborative spirit and teamwork building. Can undergraduate students do research? Yes, they can. I'm actually involved in research in our biomedical engineering department. Awesome. When can they start? They can start as early as their first year at college. They just have to talk to the professor and see if there's research that interests them. What's the coolest research project you've worked on? That's a really tough one. I did a lot of work with virus separation over the summer, but I also know friends of mine who have made some cool designs for packaging, like the Oreo resealable package. Is the academic environment at RIT more competitive, more collaborative, or a mix of both? I'd say it's a little bit more collaborative. Again, we really want to work together as a team and going at each other's throats is not the way to go, I think. What's the best study spot on campus? Ooh, that's a tough one. I think it's the Galasano Institute for Sustainability because it's usually pretty quiet in there and it smells really good because of our plant wall. 
So it's safe to say the impacts of COVID-19 are on everyone's mind. How is the student interaction on campus currently? I think it's the same as it was before the pandemic. There's just people a little bit further apart, talking a little bit louder and wearing masks. So how has social distancing and wearing masks changed interaction? It hasn't changed it much at all. Again, there's a lot of activities going on. Everyone's being safe and they're just further apart. So what about classes? Are they mostly online or in person? RIT has adopted uh, this blended learning style where half of the class comes in one day and the other half comes in the other day. And there are some classes that are offered solely online as well to accommodate for people's preferences. So in addition to coursework, RIT is known for cooperative education or co-op. What is that? It's the best thing since sliced bread. It's getting to work in an external company full-time and getting full-time pay. Is it required for all RIT students? It's not required for all, but it's highly encouraged for all. About 90% of programs require it. When can you start? You can start as soon as your second year or after your second year. What companies have you worked for? I work for Canon Virginia, as well as Regeneron Pharmaceuticals, and even here at RIT in the research labs. How much did you make? It was between $17 an hour and $22 an hour. What did you work on? I did pharmaceutical development, biomaterial development, and I even published a paper. What was your favorite part? I think it was not having to do homework and meeting a lot of new people. Would you go back to these companies? Oh, definitely. Well, I want to go and see what the other part of the biomedical engineering field has to offer, I definitely go back. Did they offer you or any of your friends a full-time job? Yes, they do. About 80% of the time, as I understand, usually the companies will give the student a full-time offer. Outside of academics, do you have time for extracurriculars? Uh, definitely. I think those are what keep me the most sane. What clubs and organizations are you part of? So I'm in Engineering World Health, Colleges Against Cancer, Sigma Chi, Engineering House, and I'm a volunteer EMT on the weekend. Where can students access a full list of programs? We have a site online called Campus Groups. You can look at all the clubs and sign up. Where can I sign up? Well, at the beginning of every semester, we do have a club fair, and you can also just go online and sign up. Is there a limit to how many clubs and organizations a student can join? No, but I wouldn't sign up for more than 15 because that can be a little bit much. So what's your best tip for juggling social life and academics as a freshman? Communication, a Google Calendar, and running everywhere. What's the best sporting event on campus? Definitely the hockey games. What kinds of intramural sports are here? We have a lot. We have broom ball, hockey, ultimate frisbee, soccer, softball, a bunch. So every student takes a wellness course. What was your favorite? Oh, that's a tough one, but it had to be yard games because I love playing cornhole and I got really good at it. So I feel like there's always music playing somewhere on the quarter mile, especially from fraternities and sororities hosting fundraising events. How prevalent is Greek life on campus? It makes up about 10% of our population, so not too prevalent, but I think they're all great organizations and they're all really nice people. What about orchestra or band? Does RIT have one? We do, we have a bunch of performing arts programs. We're actually trying to get the best performing arts programs for non-majors. So we have Game Symphony Orchestra, Wind Wind Ensemble, and a jazz band. What about safety? Do you feel safe on campus? Definitely, we have public safety officers circulating campus 24 seven, and we have a blue light system if you ever feel unsafe to use. Off campus, is there a lot of stuff to do in the surrounding Rochester area? Oh, definitely. You can go to the old Eastman Kodak buildings, get yourself a garbage plate, or just go to the Seneca Park Zoo. What about off-campus opportunities to stay active outside? Well, you can go to Watkins Glen State Park, as well as there's a bunch of waterfall tours all around the surrounding area. Cool, thank you. Yeah. Awesome. So, what about the weather? It's November here at RIT. What's the weather like throughout the season? Well, Rochester is notorious for having wonky weather, but usually it starts to get cold around Halloween and then it snows a lot in January and February, but it's fantastic in the spring. And yes. Can freshmen have cars on campus? Definitely. All it costs is $50 a semester. What about light scooters and skateboards? Yeah, also highly encouraged, especially if you're going to be late to a class. Zipping over on a scooter is what you need to do. Do most students stay on campus during the weekends? Definitely. There's so much going on on campus, but we have a beautiful bus system if you wanted to go off campus too. When it comes to living on campus, do different dorms have different cultures? Uh, I would say yes. 
uh, there's also special interest house that have their own cultures themselves inside the residence halls. How has COVID impacted your life? It's been different, but as I understand it, everyone is still having fun, staying in their rooms and having virtual game nights. How are dorms assigned to freshmen? There's an online housing application that you fill out with all these fun questions. How about finding or being assigned a roommate? It's pretty simple. You can put a roommate on that housing application or all those questions. They use a super cool algorithm and boom, you have the perfect roommate. Are all freshmen required to live on campus? If you live outside a 30 mile radius, yes. What would you say to students considering applying to RIT? I would say be yourself on that application, have fun, and uh, make sure that you're gonna love what you're gonna be doing. If you could do it all over again, would you still choose the life of an RIT Tiger? Oh, totally yes, 100%.